In this clip, I'll show you how you can loop your playback. So why would you want to loop your playback? Well, if there's only one section of audio that you want to change, and you know it's gonna take you a little while to figure it out because you gotta hear it as it changes to know uh, what you want. Well, instead of, you know, every time you get past that spot stopping and then rewinding and starting it again and then rewinding and making another change and starting it again, you could just set it to play, uh, to loop in between your in and out points. So come down here to the timeline and set your in and out points. It's always a good idea to set your in and out points um, like a couple seconds outside of what you actually want to listen to. That way you have a little bit of buffer zone. So just set your in and out point. Okay, that's set. Then come up here to view, slide all the way down, and this little thing called loop playback. Make sure that's checked off. Okay, if it's not, click it and make and check it. Now you've enabled loop playback. So to play it, you have to go up now to mark and then go down to play in to out. So as you can hear, it just kind of loops back. It plays and then it loops back on itself. And this is just a fantastic tool, like I said, for when you have a particular portion that you need to change. Because while you're looping this, you can be up in the in the uh, the audio mixer here, you know, messing with levels, doing pans, whatever you want to do.